How to fix Roblox error code 279, failed to connect to the game. Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Roblox tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple different steps that will hopefully fix Roblox error code 279, where you cannot connect to the game because of a failed connection attempt. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribing to my channel because that really helps me out. All right, so the first thing I recommend doing if you get Roblox error code 279 is to simply open up a browser and navigate to status.roblox.com. This is Roblox's page displaying their operational status. So you can see here if they have any issues going on, if it shows green, then all their systems are up. But if you see any red, then that most likely means that the error you're getting is because Roblox is actually down. So I would check this first before doing anything and see if it's you or see if it's Roblox. If you check this and it's green, the next thing I would recommend doing is simply rebooting your computer. And to restart our computer, all we need to do is go down to the Windows Start button, select it, and then select the Power button and select Restart. Your computer will then reboot. And once it restarts, try to play Roblox and see if you're still getting Roblox error code 279. If after rebooting, you're still getting Roblox error code 279, the next thing I would recommend doing is running the Windows 10 Network Troubleshooter because that can fix any connection issues. And to, do, and to do that, all we need to do is right click the Windows Start button and then go up and select Network Connections. This will open up the status for your network connection on your computer. Scroll down and under Advanced Network Settings, simply select Network Troubleshooter. It'll detect any problems. And if it comes up here and asks you which network adapter to check, simply make sure you have all network adapters checked and then select Next. It'll then troubleshoot that. And after the troubleshooter runs, Go ahead and close it and then try Roblox again. Even if it didn't find anything, it may have reset something on your network that fixed this issue for you. Now, if the network troubleshooter did not fix Roblox error code 279, the next thing I would recommend doing is uninstalling Roblox and then reinstalling it. And we can easily do that by going down to the Windows Start button, right clicking it, and then selecting Apps and Features. Once Apps and Features comes up, go down to the search box right here where it says Search This List, type Roblox, and we just want to uninstall. Either the Roblox player, that's what you have installed, or the Roblox app from the Microsoft Store. So I'm going to uninstall the Roblox player. So just simply select these and then select uninstall. So confirm you want to uninstall Roblox. Once it says that Roblox has been uninstalled, select OK. And we can close the settings here. Then just open up a browser and navigate to roblox.com. Log into your account and then find a game that you want to play. Select that game and then select the play button. It'll try to launch Roblox when you do that. And once it detects that you don't have Roblox installed, it'll tell you that you need to download and install Roblox. So go ahead and select download and install Roblox. Save the Roblox installer to your computer and then open up the Roblox installer that we just downloaded. Once you do that, it'll start installing Roblox on your computer. And once it's done installing, you can go back, try to play that game again. And this time it should launch Roblox and you'll be able to play Roblox on your computer. All right, so that's how you fix Roblox error code 279. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Roblox tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.